This week's episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures takes us to British Columbia for the toughest big game animal hunt in North America. Steve West and guide Nathan Olmsted will test mind and body on this grueling hunt for trophy mountain goats. Join us for big goats at the top of the world on another exciting episode of Steve's. Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the Eliminator Laser Scope, Stormcloth 2, Performance Outerwear, Corbon DPX Ammunition, Kershaw Knives, the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera, Steiner Binoculars, Outdoor Trail Freeze Dried Foods, Montana Decoy Company, CVA Muzzle Loaders, and UDAP Bear Pepper Spray. Right now, British Columbia is the premier destination for trophy mountain goat hunters. The populations are high, and the trophy quality has been very consistent. We are very fortunate to have a handful of top-level outfitters in British Columbia that have exceptional goat hunting areas. This past year, I decided to do a September mountain goat hunt in an area where I booked my client, Rich Gallus, the year before. The area has a tremendous goat population and solid trophy quality. Yeah, we don't Steve's quest for a big billy goat began in early September as he and cameraman Ryan Olson drove up to British Columbia to meet their ride into the mountains. As a professional hunting consultant, Steve books a lot of goat hunters every year, and he sends his clients to some of the best goat hunting areas in North America. Steve knows through personal experience that he'll see a lot of goats with this outfitter, and the odds are in his favor. After a short flight over the mountains, Steve arrived at base camp to meet up with his guide Nathan Olmsted and his family. Welcome. Oh, okay, nice you you got you. Oh, good. good. That's what happens. Not too long or too long? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's his birthday. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Are you gonna knock you over again? Oh yeah, no, I won't knock you over. <laughs> Before his hunt, Steve double checks the zero on his rifle, a wise thing to do after traveling. Steve is shooting a Remington Model 700 XCR chambered in 300 Win Mag topped with a Burris laser scope, pushing 180 grain Scirocco bullets. Same. After a good night's sleep, everyone was up early, preparing for the pack into goat country. Well, what we're doing, we're settling up here this morning, getting ready to ride up to our spike camp. Way about three hours up river from here. Flew in yesterday, the weather's been 
pretty good, but uh, not uh, not today. It's overcast. It's trying to break, but hopefully we'll get a nice little ride in. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Steve finds the goats and the climbing begins. Well, folks, we're back up here at the headwaters of the Prophet River again this year. We're gonna do something a little bit more adventurous. Um, and behind me here, you can see the glacier that's up there. It's the Prophet Glacier. It feeds the Prophet River. And to the best of our knowledge, from the beginning of the valley here all the way up to the glacier, going back 40, 50 years, no one has hunted up there. Um, they've come in, they've cut a trail for a part of the way. We're gonna have to kind of go, uh, go at it without a trail for part of the duration um, up to the glacier, but there's a lot of elk and a lot of moose, mountain goats, stone sheep, grizzly bears, everything up in that valley, and they've never been hunted. We're real excited about getting up in there, and uh, Nathan's over there packing up the horses when we get ready to go. We just hiked over here to the base of a big rock mountain and uh, we just got sight of three big billies living on top of a knob up here. It's going to be a steep rocky climb but uh, at least the walk to the bottom of the mountain is not so bad. Kind of rolling would be the only uh, easy part about this hunt is getting to the base of the mountain. Well, we got to swing around and get the wind in our favor and put the spot and scope on and see which one we like to look of the most. I think that one just moved to the right. They're all facing the right. Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's get going. Last these goats, there's five five billy goats up here on top of the hill. And uh, we're getting ready to make our climb. But I gotta tell you, I was stopped by the automatic beauty of all that. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I know why you guys love it here so much. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I couldn't imagine a prettier place on earth. Especially this time of year with all the trees changing. It's incredible. Oh, Absolutely incredible. Doing. Absolutely incredible. Well, let's do it now. Take a little scoop. bedding in the trees. We gotta climb up a bit higher and put the spot and scope on them. Oh, we gotta do it today. Mountain goat hunting is often referred to as a young man's hunt and with good reason. The physicality of the hunt definitely takes its toll, especially when you're trying to keep up with a 26-year-old professional guide who eats mountains for breakfast. Steve had to call a mid-climb timeout to catch his breath and to rest his legs.
After a short break, Steve got back to climbing, and the sight of those big billies on that mountain helped Steve push on to the top. One of them's real big and heavy, but he's bedded on a ledge about 500 yards from here. He's got a pretty steep uphill angle. We're gonna try and cut this down by about 100 yards. It's kind of open terrain. We're gonna try and go from rock to rock. Nathan's kind of laid out a good, good approach for us. And uh, if we can get to 400 yards, I feel pretty confident with the uphill angle. I can shoot it for about 300 yards, try and break his shoulder and put him on that ledge. I'm hoping he doesn't come off of it. That's kind of the danger of goat hunting. Sometimes you'll hit him and they'll tip off the ledge. But I think I can make this shot. I've made a lot further shots in my life, so let's hope they don't bug. <laughs> Unfortunately, the further Steve climbs, the steeper it gets. Pain is the price of admission into goat country. That's the smaller one of the two. Waiting for the big one to step out. He's just back to the right in the trees. And if he'll step out or go out one of the other draws, we've got him. It's windy up here. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, the Big Billy gets up and Steve gets his shot. Welcome back to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Steve West is hunting mountain goats in British Columbia. Steve has been waiting several hours for a Big Billy to get up out of his bed. The goat finally rises up and shows his dominance by goring a younger billy from his perch. Steve ranges the billy with his Burris laser scope at just over 200 yards. He settles the 200 yard crosshair on the billy's shoulder and prepares to squeeze the trigger. Got it. Sure sound like you got him. I didn't see anything fly. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Good shooting. Yes! Good shooting, buddy. Nice. Yeah! We have been waiting all day for him. Oh. <sighs> Thank goodness for that tree. My God. That tree, he bedded behind it. That's the smartest goat in the world. He would not move, he would not move. Yeah. Why I keep goat hunting, I'm not sure. Every time it's like, hey Steve, you wanna go goat hunting? Yeah, I'll have to go goat hunting. And then I think twice about it, and I say, oh heck, I'm young. Those mountains are small. Nice goat, real heavy. Just excellent, excellent animal. Probably one of North America's most underrated animals. No, I agree. Hardest animal in North America to hunt, by far. We spit on the stone sheep while we hunt the goats. Yeah. Hey, let's go look at it. Figure out how to get up there. Whew. 
If you've ever hunted goats, you know all too well that the work doesn't end with the shot. Steve shot this billy at 200 yards straight up the mountain, and it will take them another hour or two just to get to the goat. And then they have to come back down. And if you ask any mountain goat guide, he'll tell you that coming down is always harder than going up. Are you scared of fall? Yeah, dude. Because you're, you're scared of heights, huh? I'm bad scared of heights. <laughs> I'm on a goat hunt. That's a bad combination. And that's a seriously bad combination. To be afraid of heights, to be afraid of falling, and then get someplace where you can't get your body. Yeah. Be a monkey for a camera. Yeah. Yeah, hang on, move back down. Yeah, maybe the foot will go. A better anchor than, than a parachute. What was the anchor that I got over there? Lower? Okay. Lower? You want to read that foot? I got you. Yeah, I know too. Looks like a nice one. Yeah. Well, folks, there he is. I'm definitely questioning my sanity because we're on a sheer face. We're three, four hundred foot straight drop to death. And we don't have much holding us up here. It's, it's, this is crazy. He's a gorgeous billy. We'll get down there and see him. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, we'll take a closer look at Steve's Billy Goat in British Columbia. Well, as you can see, goat hunting is as extreme as everybody's ever talked about it being. There's some easy spots to get goats. There's a few of them here where you can ride horses up pretty close to them, but that's not how we do it. We get up here, we backpack hunted this mountain. Got up here first thing this morning. Gorgeous Billy up on the rocks. Started glassing, cameraman located this fine goat. Beautiful mountain goat. And uh, he bedded down with another one. He ran up and tried to butt the other younger one off the rocks, and that was awesome. And he stepped out where I could get a good clean shot at him, and I took him through the shoulders. He's an awesome animal, and you cannot believe where we're at. I mean, we're literally three feet away from a, a tumble to our death. This is a hunt that, that many, many people will never experience because they're worried about the extreme nature of it, but I, I can only urge you to come try. It's an awesome experience. It's probably one of the most underrated trophies in North America. It's another fine animal I've taken here with my friend Nathan Olmstead and Prophet Musqua Offetters in Northern British Columbia. Folks, I can't tell you how good times we've had up here and, and the memories that this mountain goat will provide me for many years when he graces the walls of my trophy room. And I hope that you've had as much fun watching this hunt as I have had in making it. Well, we've got to get this animal cleaned up and off the mountain. A quick note before we go. The guy that would really probably uh, enjoy this hunt, and he's probably up there looking down on us right now, Cam Lancaster, fine goat hunter himself. Unfortunately, about three weeks ago, he was killed in a super cub accident. Her thoughts and prayers go out to he and his family. I know he's up there right now saying, man, that was a hell of a damn nice hunt. I uh, understand there's probably going to be a, a trust put a put to together for his kids uh, if there is you can look for our look for it on our website uh, the website address the list at the end of the program like I said we got to get this animal caped the meat taken care of and somehow we've got to descend off this mountain before it gets dark and we have got some very treacherous places to go through so we gotta get rolling <laughs>